Now welcome to Dixon Photography. Today I have a very different video. Um, I am now here in Lightroom and I just looked up how many images I took and I've decided to take a look at the last 30 days, so the last month. So this is these are my folders here and you see the first number is the month. So 05 means it's May 2019, 23rd. May 2019, 24th. 25th. 26, 28, 29, <clears throat> 31, the 1st of June, 2nd of June, 7th of June. And on the right, you see how many images are actually in the folder. So here are 707, 977, 1027, 538, 3449, it's a wedding. <clears throat> and you see from the 23rd of May to the 23rd of June, um, we have taken 75,000 raw images. I only have selected the raw files. And these are the images that I imported into Lightroom. And there are probably some folders still on the computer that I haven't imported, where there are images of my kit, like these ones. <clears throat> and it's not right now in this video going about editing or photography but more about uh, mindset and, and some kind of success you could say and I just want to talk a little bit about it. Now here you see all images the unedited ones which is like this and the edited ones which is like this. Here is a star, here is no star. So you see many images look very much the same. Um, here you also see the lenses I use. So up here we got three cameras, the 6D 29,000 images, 6D Mark II, 23,000 images, EOS RP, 28,000 images. These cameras are used to, to take these pictures. And lens-wise, we have the 35 as the Sigma Art Lens, 2,000 images, 10 to 80 millimeter, it's about 1,000, 24 millimeter, 23,000 images, 50 millimeter, 24,000 images, 85 millimeter, 20,000 images, 135 millimeter, 7,000 images, and that is uh, the, the, the lenses I used. When I got the EOS RP, about um, th this shooting here with my son was probably the first shooting with the RP, and that was uh, that was just one month one month ago. I got the EOS RP, or a little bit a little bit earlier, and. I took some images with the 6D Mark II and the EOS RP. And here you see most of these images are still unedited. This one is edited. And uh, I have nearly edited all images from the 75,000. Only some images of my family I haven't edited just because there is no, it's no priority. Uh, maybe just a little bit how I edit. So for example, I have here some presets and I can just click on any one of those and I get a nearly final image, let's say, like this. This is the final image. Then I have other images here, for example, this one. This is also the unedited one. I can click here now to this, and then it's the same. And I can click on any image now, maybe this one, and also click here and then have the finished version. Or I select all images here, how many I like, click synchronize, select everything, click synchronize, now all images down here will be in the same look that I just applied 20-30 seconds ago. Now all images from the photo shoot are in the same look. If I edit a wedding, this is how I do it. I create a look or choose a preset and then change it and then apply it to all following images, so all images look have the same look that they are taken from the same photographer. Here for example is an image that I have edited and here also. So from these um, from these 75,000 images, how many have I actually edited? Um, we can see it when I click here to the stars. So now we only have selected the images that I found nice. So it's from 80,000 or actually 75,000 raw files 
14,000 I have edited. Uh, I want to show you in this video a little bit inspiration, motivation. So when I started photography, I didn't make any money for eight months. And I always say it because that is the foundation on which I build everything. Uh, I believe you have to sacrifice something. You have, I had to sacrifice financial safety. I had to sacrifice income. I had to sacrifice uh, knowing that it will work. I didn't know if it will put and for eight months it didn't work. I had to sacrifice a lot. I had to be grateful for the small things. I had to be grateful for every single photo I could take. And now I'm at a place where I can take over 70,000 images in only one month. And not just take it, but also edit them in the same time. And that is fascinating when I think about the time I started in 2013. September 2013, I started photography as my main job and I didn't make any money until April or March, uh, May the next year. And what I want to talk about is a little bit mindset and reality. So there are two ways how you can think about reality. One way is life as it is right now is how it's always been and will always be the same. So your, your reference point is always the same, which means that the money you make a month is the same as it was last month, the same as it was two months ago, the same as it will be next month. That is a limited mindset, so to say. And um, just while I'm talking, I'm going to edit a couple of images. So you see, click an image, click here, and then I have it nearly, nearly finished. So you can go around life thinking that how it was last month, last year is the same how it is now, is the same how it will be in the coming years. That is one philosophy. That means that when you are used to buying a shirt for 40 euros, 40 pounds, 40 dollars, you probably, uh, you, and you see a shirt now for 60 euros, pounds, dollars, you probably can buy it. Uh, but if you see a shirt for 360 euros, pounds, dollars, you're probably not going to buy it. It's out of your point of reference. And uh, the, the philosophy that, that I follow, which is another philosophy, is it's not important what I had, who I was, or what I actually am. The only thing is important. Is it important to me? So when I started photography, I was working in insurance. I never learned photography. I never read a book about it and nobody ever taught me. So now when I look at this and I see 80,000 images within 30 days and the next month, July will be more just from the appointments I have and Anna and our son are in Spain. So I, I, I will photograph more. Uh, the only reason I do photography is because I chose it. I never read a book about it. I never learned it. My degree, I went to university for six and a half years. I have a degree in economics and specialized in marketing. And I have a degree in insurance, which I learned at a company. That is what I could afford to do as a job. Economics, insurance. That is what I got trained at. That is what I was able to afford on the job market that I could apply to. I've decided to not use a degree or a paper. I don't base my future on a paper. I base my future on what's important to me, on what I love. I base my future on my heart and heart wins. I don't want to build a career on a piece of paper. I want to build a career on what's really important to me. And I went into that without knowing how it actually would turn out. I'm still on the journey and every year it gets better and better. And since 2013, I never had the feeling that I, I am working actually. Now think about it. If you had to take 80,000 images in 30 days and also edit them, just the amount of time it takes to import these images here or to export these images here is, is incredible. <laughs> The amount of time that I have to wait in front of the computer while importing or exporting is just in incredible. And now th imagine this would be imagine this would be my job. It would be really horrible to have so much work to do. 
if I would see it as a job that I'd like to go uh, home from. Because I don't see it as a job, I see it as a gift that I'm uh, thankful that I could actually do. I'm really thankful that I can, I can live this every day. And just when I see this number of, just when I see this number of 14,400 images, uh, or 80,000 images, I'm thinking about the time when I didn't have any, uh, any client, no photo shoot, no photo taken, nothing. And now it's 80,000. And the idea behind it is that instead of thinking that every month I make the same, my life is limited to what I earn and it's always the same, I think about what is important to me and can I increase my numbers. So important to me was photography and I increased the numbers of photos I take from nothing to 80,000 a month. <clears throat> and that is very inspirational um, for me, but I think also for other people, that you can actually you can actually increase the numbers of pictures you take, you can increase the amount of work you do, and thereby change everything. The amount of money I make when I take 80,000 images is ridiculous. There are, of course, images that I take of private stuff, of family, like these images here. I always take pictures of my son. Sometimes we take pictures together. Um, we, I have a remote control. I can just show you how it looks like. So here, in my hand, I have a small thing in my hand. And one is in my hand, one is on the camera. When I click on that thing, the camera focuses on the eye, in the best case, automatically, and I get a sharp image. I'm shooting here now. Let's just take a look at 50 millimeter 1.8 at 2.8 on the camera. Let's take a look the 60 mark 2 And to me, it's it's very sad thinking about limitation and it's very inspirational thinking about that I can actually change everything if I change the numbers I can change my income just by changing this number here if here what it would say 20,000 a month, 20,000 images a month is totally fine. But the lifestyle that you can afford with it is different than with when you take 80,000 a month. And it's not every month, it's just in the summer. And if you want to get good at anything, I highly suggest doing a lot in a very compressed amount of time. The 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 easiness t taking pictures it will be so easy to take pictures um, when you do it a lot because i take many images of everything a lot of weddings a lot of street portraits street photography because I, I i photograph a lot it got very easy it is because it got easy it's, it's even more fun and because it's more fun i totally enjoy it and, and i do it for the fun mostly it is the main reason I do it is because the feeling I get. And when I look at these these times here, so uh, um, my dream was to when I started photography, I had the idea that which was crazy. There are people who get paid to take pictures every day. That would be a dream life for me. And I don't even care about how much money it brings. I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about the joy from Monday to Friday, the joy of the actual work. And when I now look at the times here, so here we are photographing 100 people in Düsseldorf, the 17th we took many images, 4,000 here, the 18th we took many images, 2,500, 1,500, 2,000, so all this on the 18th. The 19th we took images, 2,000 or more. The 20th, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, the 20. 6, 28, 29, 31. The first we took many thousand images. The second we took many images. And I am now living the dream, but it only came being honest to myself to recognize what is it that I actually want. My degree said I can be an econ I can work in economy and I can work in insurance. That is what my degree allowed me. But that was not actually what 
what was important to me. Important to me was photography. And I did not have a degree, but I had heart. And I was honest to myself enough to say, this is important to me, I want this. And then I have to have the courage to follow that idea. And that is a total different ball game. To not base your future and work on a degree, but to do it on heart and feeling and emotion and listening to you. Okay, now it's not important the images that you see here. These images, uh, I'm not talking about editing, I'm not talking about... Uh, now the images are, are, are not important here. What's important is uh, how I got here and the, how I got to take these images. Now what you see now is what I took the last 30 days. I not only took these 75,000 images, I also edited over 14,000 of them uh, in the same time that I took these images. And so I believe that doing a lot of what you love will make you more of that. So if you do not have any money, if you do not have, have any degree in photography or anything else, and if you, if you don't have an expensive camera, but you have any kind of camera, I suggest do a lot. Photograph whatever you can. Start with your family, start with your friends, start with yourself maybe, start with the, the town that you live in, talk to people on the streets. And you will rise from nothing to opportunity. Opportunity can be a wedding, opportunity can be a free photo shoot, opportunity can be a great relation. Maybe you meet your dream girl while taking pictures. I met Anna with a camera in my hand. That's the reason we came together. I'm very thankful for the camera, photography. Photography brought me a lot in my life. And... Um, I'm honest enough to myself to make room for what's important to me. There are three things in my life that really matter. It's my son, it's Anna, and it's photography. And nothing else. So whenever you see me, you see me either with my son, you see me with my girlfriend, or with a camera, or all together. Here Noah took some images, so uh, I, I, I told you in the beginning with the remote control that we have here. So he has this thing in his hand and he takes the images. Isn't this crazy that a one and a half year old can take an image like this, shot with a 35 millimeter lens at f1.8. I find this fascinating. And I know my story is just beginning. I took many images in the last five years, nearly every day, because I love it. You might say I can burn out, or, although I think you can burn out when you do something that you don't like. Now stress, stress is created when you do something that you don't want to do. That's when you create stress. I get stressed when I agree to a photo shoot that I don't want to do. Business portraits is something that I, that's not important to me. Sometimes I agree to it because the people who ask me, I know them. Then I do it in a as a favor, but it's not important to me. When I do something that is important to me, like wedding photography, photographing people on the streets, I never get stressed, no matter how many images I take, because it's something that I love to do. It's not work. It's good for me. It's actually giving me much. It's not taken. And you can decide, and I base everything on feelings. I do something, when I was working in insurance, everything sounded great. You can make a lot of money, you always come in a suit, you always look like stressed, the company puts a lot of money into you, so you grow and become, you learn how to read people, you learn how to handle yourself, you will be a great person. That all sounded great, but when I was there, it didn't feel fulfilling. Now, I know you can make a lot of money in insurance, but the life quality that I had from Monday to Friday was very low, it, subjectively. Now, it might, it might look nice from the outside, always wearing a suit, a lot of money in the air, but it was not something that I was passionate about. It was not important to me. And I had the... I had to have the honesty to listen to what's important to me, to my emotions. My emotions tell me everything. They know exactly who I need to become. 
to be successful, I don't have to ask anyone. I just have to look at my emotions. What is important to me? And then from there on, I go. And whenever I do something that doesn't feel right, I have to listen to my emotions and I have to say, I cannot do this anymore. Like taking business portraits. It's not important to me. Whenever I am asked to do business portraits, I gladly recommend any other photography studio. Even if I don't know them personally, I know that they there are some photo studios that have focused on business portraits. I recommend them to everyone that wants business portraits because I don't, I'm not going to do it. It's not important to me. It will lower my life quality if I agree to that. And it will raise my life quality if I say no to that. And so um, I hope I can give you some value here from what I've learned uh, taking pictures. Um, as I said, I'm not, go I'm not going to talk about these images here. Uh, I'm just going through them so you see a little bit what happened in the last 30, 30 days here. And I think everyone can experience this. You can, you can have a, a month where you take 70, 80,000 images, but you have to make room for that gift. I cannot take these, this amount of images. I cannot do this many photo shoots. If I have a normal day job, I cannot, uh, I cannot rise as high and fast in an area if I do it only once a week. I have to make room for what's important to me. And it will feel great doing that emotionally. And it might not make sense to people around you. Now the thing is, emotions you cannot see. When I was working in insurance, you could not see if I was happy or not if it fits me or not. You couldn't see it. Only I could see it when I listened to my emotions. Some of the greatest success stories were created on a feeling where people felt something. When people started a sport, when people started writing, making movies, playing guitar, they felt something that this might be important to them. And from there on they went. And some of the biggest sports people, some of the actors, musicians that have so, so much money are still doing it. Think about the Rolling Stones. Think about movie music like John Williams, who is over 80 and he still writes music for the biggest Hollywood movies and he writes everything with pen and paper. He writes big mu music, orchestra music, with pen and paper because over the last 50 years he never had time to learn digital and computer. So he just sticks to pen and paper to write music where sometimes 100 instruments play. And he does it all alone. And he's over 80 and still doing it. And I believe these people have all started with the feeling that they touched something, music, photography, acting, writing, designing, whatever it is, and they followed what their inner voice told them. And now, what you see now, I know not all images will be displayed correctly as it takes time to render, but this is how my last 30 days look like. Many weddings, street photography, taking pictures of my family. I am now living my dream and it brings me a lot of joy when I see 70,000 images taken in one month and I know the next month it will be even more. And I don't do this video to brag or so, and I think, uh, I hope that you don't th think that uh, I do this to, to brag. I do this to inspire. When I started, I didn't make any money for eight months. That is my foundation. That is my sacrifice. That means that I will be grounded because of what I went through in those eight months. And I will be thankful for everything, for the good times, and for the bad times. And as long as I can take pictures, I know I'm happy. And your success is not defined by the, month, by the money you make last month or last year. Your success is defined by your actions. My actions in the last 30 days is 80,000 images that I have imported into Lightroom. That is my action. This, these numbers of action base my success. They, these actions decide how much money I make, how I live, 
how I feel, what I do, this is all this is all based on my actions. I decide my actions. I can control my actions. I can have month where I take 1000 images or I can take 80,000. And who decides is me. No one else. I am totally in control of that. But I have to make room for photography every single day. That is the only way for me to become who I want to become. Okay, I think it's now uh, I think I talked a lot and so I will leave you with this. I haven't made a video in the last month or so because of what you see now. I, I was taking pictures. Now I have done, I have completed everything. The wedding albums are done and I have two days until the next wedding. So I can do this video now and just reflect on the last month or so. And I, as I told you, I want you to be inspired. So don't see me as me. Take this as, this can be your story. You can start with nothing and in five years you are at 80,000 images. How much money that means to me is irrelevant. What that means is I actually am living the dream of taking pictures every day. I became the one that I five years ago looked up to. Thinking about there are people who take pictures every single day and they make money with it. They can, they can buy any kind of gear and it's totally fine because it's their job. They can do whatever they like with their cameras and get paid for it. That was a dream and now I live it. And I believe when you consider taking some years into that, I believe you can do that too. Thank you very much.